We're going to print something that's actually very practical, a set of shoes. And this shoe design that you're looking at right here is what we're going to print. I used a design that I found on, I think it was Thingiverse. I've had to edit the design down quite a bit so it'd fit on the build plate for the Cheaty X Max 3, which has a 12 point something inch build plate. Um, I had to cut the back of it off. I cut a ton of the bottom of the shoe design off. It was more of a high heel kind of looking design or a boot style design. And I've removed a lot of that, so we're going to save a lot of time in the build here. And after all those little edits, this is the shoe design that I came up with, and that's what we're going to print off today. I just wanted to show you that on the slicer. And we're going to now put that on the flashcard, send that over to the Cheaty X Max 3, and start the print. Let's get it going. We're uh, quite a ways into this. Let's see, 6 hours and 28 minutes in, 61% done. I just want to kind of give you a quick shot of what it looks like so far. I am seeing a little bit of lift happening here around some of the edges and corners, which that's not good. That might fail the print on us as it gets further and further along. Hopefully it doesn't pull all the way around. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a quick look from above. All right, guys, our shoe's done printing. Took me a little bit of force and two hands to get that shoe to break free from the build plate there, so it's already been broken free. But I want to use the light in there to kind of give you a good look at the shoe itself. Now we had zero supports anywhere. Look inside of that. I mean, there is very little hanging down, so just a little bit of supports added to this right down the center. That's all it's going to need. But for the most part, everything else looks really good. Take a look at the bottom. That looks great. We could definitely add some kind of uh, tread to that later on in the design. All right, guys, let's go bring that in the room and see how well it fits. It looks great. All right, guys, here comes the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and... Oh, well, that was actually really nice and easy. Um, I love the way that feels on the bottom of my foot. Unlike the last croc that was really confining up towards my toes, this one's actually a little too big. I could print this quite a bit smaller. Um, wow, that's great. I have a ten and a half, just a little bit bigger size foot. So these are probably more like a size 12 that I've just printed. Gives me plenty of room inside of there. Um, that is a great, great shoe. Actually feels very comfortable, even with only 5% infill. Um, it feels like I've got plenty of support underneath my foot when I press down. All right, guys, let's go ahead and print another shoe. I think what I'll do is I'll make the next one just a little bit smaller. It doesn't really matter. I can always print the third one later on to match the second one. And I think I'll take about, uh, let's say, hmm, 15 millimeters off the length. We'll try that again. Let's go ahead and get our second shoe going, and then we'll give them a good old-fashioned test and walk around in them, see how well they hold up to some real use. All right, guys, our second shoe is done. Real quickly here, I want to just set that first shoe up beside it. It was considerably bigger, as you can see there. Let's go ahead and grab that down, take a look at our new shoe. Now this is zero support, so we do have a little bit of drooping right here. Not too bad. No support on the inside, and the rest of this looks really nice. Now, let's see. I don't want to hurt it in any way. Let's see if I can get this off of there. Okay, there we go. Let's turn it around, take a look at it. Actually, that turned out really nice, just like the last one. Let's look inside, see how much hang down there is. And there's a little bit back in there. That can be easily trimmed off and then heated with a lighter to fix. But for wearing them around, just cleaning that up, that'll be easy to do. All right, so I have them equal back to back here. I just wanna show you how much I've taken off the front end. It's about 15 millimeters. Let's see how much better they fit. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Let's try on the new one. Oh, that went on nicely. That fits very nice, actually. Wow, all right. This one was way loose here. This is like a size 12 or 13. And there we go, guys. We now have a fully 3D printed set of actually very comfortable shoes. Now, I've only printed these with a 5% infill. You're definitely gonna wanna increase that to 10, maybe even 20%, depending on what kind of longevity you want. I also printed with only two outside perimeter walls, which you're gonna to wanna to increase that to three after printing these. That'll give you a shoe that's gonna last quite a long time, probably even longer than the one you bought at the store. I am very happy with these. So what I'll do is I'll do an update later on, maybe in a few weeks after wearing these around. I'm gonna kind of give you an idea of how long they lasted, how well they kind of break in, all those things. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed.